Welcome back to John's Films. Today we're trying to figure out how important is the processor versus the GPU when we're building a DaVinci Resolve Studio workstation. The reason this is interesting, Studio is known to leverage the GPU, the graphics processing unit, much more than the CPU. Let's see how much the CPU matters then. Can we skimp there and spend more on the graphics card? Let's go find out. Today we're testing a Ryzen 1600 against a Ryzen 3950X. Now these were both in the same system with the 2080 Ti and NVMe hard drives. Yet the 1600 scores more than half of what the 3950 scores, though it has 6 cores versus 3950's 16. So let's see where it's hurting. Well you can see the 3950 on the left across the different codecs that I'm using. The Cinema Raw light all the way to the red, you see a pretty consistent frame rates as it does its render, whereas you see some more variation in the 1600. The big takeaway here though is that everywhere across all codecs, the 1600, despite having 62% less cores, comes across right around half of the average score of the 3950. This tells us that the cores do not scale linearly as they work against Resolve. And it makes me wonder where the sweet spot is, though I'm guessing it's at 8 or 12 cores. Well, as you saw, you can skimp on the processor to some extent, but I would not recommend cutting it all the way down to, say, the $80 Ryzen 1600 AF. No, that's a little too far. I think somewhere in the middle, maybe a 3600 or a possibly 3800 or even the 12 core 3900X would be plenty because it does not scale linearly between the six cores that we see in the 1600 and the 16 cores that you see with the 3950. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't because I've got a lot more of these coming. Went through a lot of processors lately, have a lot of new content. Come check it out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.